it's almost fall, so we got a Walmart haul. Hi everyone, welcome to Jen the Real Fluencer. My channel here is centered around confidence, helping you find it through style, fashion, and beauty. So welcome if you're new here or welcome back. This is gonna be a fun video today, I hope you're ready. We are going to go over fall trends. I have like 20, 25 of them for you, along with a lookbook style video. So I have 15 outfits that are actually going to incorporate these trends so that it really just gives you a lot of new ideas on how to wear all the new stuff at Walmart. I have partnered with Walmart today to bring you this video. So thank you so much to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. And a big thank you to my community here because if it weren't for you all, I wouldn't have the opportunity to partner with literally my favorite store, which is Walmart. So thank you to you guys as well. If you are here for that partnership, give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. I'm gonna quickly list most of the trends that are going to be featured in the lookbook portion. And then we're gonna transition into each of the 15 outfits with each outfit we're gonna say hey this is incorporating you know this trend that trend and definitely stay throughout the video because I am gonna be listing other fashion trends for this fall that aren't necessarily featured in this video because I can't feature everything right but I still want to deliver that information to you on what I found in my you know kind of my research I did research for this video I you're literally like one end of the spectrum to the other in terms of fall fashion this year. So just know not every single one of these trends is going to be for every person. I've got to give it to Walmart. They have all of them. So whatever your trend is from this video, you're going to be able to find it at Walmart. Everything will be linked below. Make sure you look for the outfit number and then that will coordinate to what is down below in the description box. I'm always so appreciative when you use my links. That is one way to be able to support not only the sponsorship with Walmart, but to support the free content content that I provide on this channel, 95% of what I buy is online. If you're ever not particularly finding something in store, definitely check online because that's literally where everything is. So for me, that's how I do it. I mean, it's like 90 day returns. I often order stuff in multiple sizes to try it on at home. And then you send it back. It's free shipping, free shipping to you, free shipping back. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So if you love Walmart, like I do, maybe just like, just like subscribe. Like you should probably just subscribe and like hang out again. Okay. <laughs> Quickly gonna run through the trend trends that you're going to be seeing in this video today. I'm literally reading from my notes here, you guys. I am so professional. So some of these are general styles, like we're talking like macro level style. Some of these are specific items. Lug boots, funky chunky monkey. I love the lug boots. Cowboy boots, or at least kind of Western style booties. Mules. Mules are definitely really big this year. Definitely ones that have the chain detail on them. Mini skirts. When I tell you that I was afraid to do mini skirts, but I was pleasantly surprised there are a few in this video. Shackets. Definitely stick around because I kind of have a awesome shacket alternative for you. I have a shacket, but I also have a shacket alternative alternative. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. Okay. Those armpit bags, we'll call them shoulder bags. I feel like that's a little more profesh. Leather, leather, everything like leather pants, leather skirts, more and more and more leather. I have a really awesome workwear item for you. I'm really excited to show it to you. Floral, really anything could be dresses, shirts, shoes. I have a floral pair of shoes to show you. Coordinated loungewear. So this kind of ties into, I also have written down here, elevated loungewear. So not the type of loungewear where you're probably literally watching a movie at your house, but the type of loungewear you really want to go out to run errands in it. You feel, you know, kind of one level up. Coordinated, meaning it either matches or it's monochromatic. Monochromatic is another one. This is why I said I have like 20 to 25. Fur. And you're like thinking, oh, Jen, is fur really anything new? No, but it's really making a big comeback this year. Obviously, we're showing faux fur. Pattern tights. I love these tights that I found. Just wait. Oh, just wait. And I've not worn tights in literally years. General utility style. So this also kind of falls in a little bit with the monochromatic, almost men wear inspired type of looks. Anything that's not a skinny jean. Wide leg jeans, boyfriend jeans, girlfriend jeans, 90s jeans, just not skinny jeans. I love skinny jeans, by the way. You're gonna see skinny jeans in this video, but that's not like the latest and greatest trend necessarily. Skinny jeans at this point, from what I understand in my research, they're a classic. This other type of jean is a trend. Anything that's like knit or crochet. Crochet is kind of a little bit of a rollover from the summertime. Colors that you're specifically going to see in this video that are definitely kind of all over the place right now. Kelly Emerald type of a green. Gray is like a staple color. So not really as like a trending color, but lots of different tones of blue. Pop of either like a soft pink or a hot 
pink and when I say hot I mean hot like it's hot fire pink and then this color that I'm calling wine I actually particularly found it at Walmart fell in love with it they have a lot of stuff that's kind of this color probably somewhere between like purple maroon and burgundy so we're gonna call it the color of wine I made that up maybe that's a thing general styles here we've got preppy collegiate when you think collegiate think like that varsity style retro like literally throwback retro I think 70s vintage when I think of vintage I think maybe a little bit more grunge feminine this is the one where I definitely went out of my comfort zone because I'm not a super feminine style I found something that I'm absolutely in love with this next one just more of a pairing so the idea of wearing dresses with the cowboy boot style sleeve details meaning you know there's something kind of going on up here there's something kind of going on down here general oversizedness is that a word oversized things have been trending you are gonna see my adaption to that you're gonna see my adoption of uh, you're gonna see my take on oversized things. I'm super curvy and I don't really love oversized things because I think for me personally it kind of packs on the pounds a little bit but I like to do kind of my own version of that and speaking of which any of this stuff do your own version of it. If you like it but don't like the whole thing just get one part of the look. That right there is like literally the definition of how you find your personal style. Let's get into the looks. <laughs> We've got kind of the utility style look. This is a free assembly men's jacket. I feel like it gives off shacket vibes. I kind of prefer it to the shacket because shackets traditionally are worn kind of oversized. Often they're kind of big, a little bit bulky. I love the style, don't get me wrong. I'm like, I'm not here saying I'm not gonna wear a shacket. Like I'm definitely gonna wear a shacket, okay. But I love that this is thinner. It's a little bit more fitted. I feel like that way it's really flattering. Shackety dupe thing, is that what I'm gonna call it? I'm gonna call it a shackety dupe thing. I love it. This kind of meets two trends. It's got the fur and it's a mule. It has that star too. So that's still very in style. I went up a full size in these. When I tell you that my obsession with this bag is deep, is deep, okay? It's a hobo crossbody bag. And actually recently went clearance. But I will say they actually got new different colors. One of the things that I absolutely love about it is this buckle. I think it does fit into the whole like utility vibe. You're gonna see a bunch of sunglasses here so we'll just kind of put those on I wear sunglasses all year round it's kind of part of my anti-aging routine if you will I don't like to go outside without sunscreen or sunglasses really really love these jeans love the button fly the gray color is one of the colors that we talked about I'm still here for the skinny jean as I mentioned I love that cut off there and that's actually the only place that this has any destruction I went up one size in these there is some good stretch here four percent spandex <laughs> The cowboy booty kind of thing. I'll be honest, I was a little bit nervous. It's not my go-to style, but I wanted to test myself and I absolutely love these from the brand Scoop. And I really loved how they looked with this very feminine dress. So this whole outfit was a little bit daring for me. But you guys, this is why it is so important to go out of your comfort zone because I said earlier on in the video, I'm not a feminine style. But when I tell you that this dress is to die for, I went out of my comfort zone and I love this outfit. Outfit. I absolutely love it sleeves as you can see they're definitely a little bit see-through this dress has two layers So this is the inner layer. This is the outer layer, but I promise you stacked together You're not seeing through it that made me nervous So I wanted to just point it out should we call it frilly frilly neck? <laughs> it does button in the back arm detail there So it hits on that trend I got a size large because I thought it looked like it would fit big when I first put this on I thought it looked too short with my bare legs. I don't wear a lot of dresses I'll be honest and if I do they're usually midi length so maybe part of that was me but instead of getting the dress larger because I did really like how it fit everywhere else I was like, you know what? Let me get tights tights are trending. I love it. I love this look one word about these tights I would say to go up a size the packaging told me to get an XL I usually always go up and so that's that go up a size in the tights I'd say go down a size in the dress if you either don't mind the length or maybe you want to try my idea But otherwise I'm sure the extra large would fit me too and then in these booties I actually got a seven which is my true size like I can't say it enough. You've got to go out of your comfort zone sometimes because, oof, I felt guilt, you know. I don't 
hair that has fall. Let's get our sunglasses going. Okay, never tried this brand at Walmart. Celebrity Pink. Yeah. I am in love with this jean jacket. I have not bought it a jean jacket. It's been years. There's a little bit of distressing on the back. So what I really like about this one is it is cropped. I, I would call it a slate crop. How about that? And I think the color is perfection. I got this in a size small. So are you sick of the sunglasses? <laughs> this is one of those things. It's supposed to be oversized, I presume. If you wanted to fit like how mine fits here, I would say certainly go down a size. And it's not so much I'm going against the trend. I'm, I'm doing the trend and how it works for me. And I wouldn't like this if it was oversized. Yeah. I have had these for seasons. I have them in so many different colors. Yeah. Half size down from my normal size. Yeah. I am just in love with these joggers from Reebok. The coloring is just beautiful. It's hitting on the color trend. I would call this like an elevated lounge. Do you see the fuzzy? Oh, they are so gushy soft. These do come in a couple different colors. I got these in an XL and they certainly do fit. And I'd say that the large also fits. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep the extra large. And this jacket, mm mm mm, that jacket. Need I say more? <laughs> So this kind of hits on two things. This is the flower trend, obviously, and the lug boot. It does have the exaggerated stitching in there as well. I'm just absolutely in love. I got a half size down. This whole look, by the way, was like a monochromatic vintage. Jimi Hendrix, I love the distressing on this shirt. It has multiple areas of distressing, so it definitely looks like it's on purpose. I'm in a medium here. This one does come in other colors, so I will link those below as well. It's got that like very soft, soft, lived in, amazing feel. I would say that it runs true to size for being oversized. Kind of burnt orangey color is definitely trending. All that hobo vibe, it just works. This is kind of fitting in with that crochet, knit kind of a trend. It's obviously huge and it fits a lot of different stuff. Keep in mind that this is not adjustable. If you wanted to, you certainly could knot it. This one, hands down, one of my favorites. I just absolutely love it. <laughs> This pencil skirt, it is to die for. This color is trending as well. Like I'd call it like a warm undertoned chocolate brown type of color. This one, I feel like I went down in size. I'm in a large here. It fits like a pencil skirt should. By the way, the belt is not attached, so you can detach it. It has the paper bag waist, which is just super flattering because it's very high waist. I absolutely love these kind of Hachi style tops. This is like how I like to do a sweater because it's very lightweight. I absolutely love love the material and it doesn't add bulk. It doesn't pack on those pounds. My biggest fear for wearing sweaters. Like you could wear this with sweatpants or you can pair with a pencil skirt and wear it to work. I mean, it's, it's very versatile. It does have a little bit of like a high low bottom. Because I was wearing this kind of a little bit more dressy, I got it in a size small. I can wear it untucked though. If you want it to fit like how it fits me, I would go one down from your normal size. So cute. There are blue light glasses, had eye situation going on for work. I'm on a computer all day long. I started YouTube and now I'm on a computer sun up to sundown. I was honestly shocked at how much of a difference they make. Not necessarily a fall trend, but you know, good eyesight is always trending. Am I right? Am I right? We are about halfway through this video. Please give the video a like if you are enjoying it so far. I appreciate it so much. I was very happy to discover these free assembly leggings. These are a seven eighth length, so do uh, consider that. I'm five foot seven. Silky soft, but almost a little bit of an athletic feel. I think they could serve a lot of purposes. I'm not wearing them for that purpose, and I think they also look great. So, you know, we talked about knit, preppy. So, you know, this cable knit sweater also comes in several colors. I love the big side slits, and it has a little bit of a high low, as you can see there. When I tell you that this sweater surprised me, I am not joking. I am not a sweater advocate. I've said that many times because generally I think they can get bulky. They can pack on the pounds. There's something about this one where I think it doesn't. I have this in a large because I did want to throw it off the shoulder, have it be a little bit oversized. I do think I could have gone up to an extra large to get even more of like that slouch off the shoulder look. All I did was throw this hot pink, no boundaries, tank underneath it to pull in the hot pink trend. Like that little pop and all of a sudden it's like, boom, 
We're trending. I don't know. I mean, do I have to say anything about these shoes? I feel like they need no introduction. This is just straight up Sherpa here. You may have seen these last wow week, which is week of Walmart. I have a whole series on this channel. I got these in black. So I also went back after them in this color, a half size down from my normal size. I don't know why I got so into these sunglasses. I saw them and I was like, I could use a sunglass refresh. So let's do the dang thing, you know? assembly leggings that come in several colors true to size i am in an xl it gives it a little bit of vintage vibes it's a van tee note that this one is a front and a back most of the scoop van tees are not front and back and then we also got another pair of cool sunglasses so we'll just wear these for a hot second my favorite hobo crossbody bag i went back and i got this thing in the other two colors i also got it in one of the new colors that it comes with so the obsession is real i paired this with my scoop shoes if you're seeing that they're a little bit dirty looking. I mean, one, they're probably a little bit dirty, <laughs> but two, they are meant to look like that. That's the style. That is the style. I recommend to get your true size. I'm really excited to show you this very long and supposed to be oversized jean jacket from Scoop. It has great booty coverage if you're wearing it with leggings. It actually has the ability to pull like that. Those jackets, I never know how to say the name. I always want to say Adirondack and I know it's not Adirondack. Which I love because it gives you just a little bit of shape. It's definitely supposed to be oversized. I know that I don't like that style. This is me adapting it to my own personal style. So I love the way it fits in a size small. Next we have a monochromatic look with like a pop of color. I kind of made it into more of like a workwear and you'll see some of the other colors that these satin like joggers come in. These could be really lounge pants, honestly. Here, I'm in an XXL. I feel like they are a little bit big, but it's also the kind of fabric that's not gonna be overly forgiving if it was too small. So just for size reference, at least the way they're fitting me, an XXL would really be up one from my normal size. I do really like the gold button detail there. I feel like that does elevate it a little bit. I mean, you pair them with sneakers, you kind of hike up the pants. I feel like they really would look more casual. The other thing that we had talked about is how in style mules are, especially ones with the chain detailing. Right These now. are so nice and they feel very sturdy, very high quality. They have the time and true signature memory foam. But I do have them in black, so I figured I might as well show you. I went up a full size and they fit perfectly. I mean, this purse, like where do we begin is that color not just gorgeous okay so this does cross body that could be kind of like a shoulder bag i love that it does the whole cinchy cinch thing right here and it goes in very easily like that so you really can change up the look pretty quickly and this bag comes in a ton of colors <laughs> Like it really hits the mark with both lounge things that I had talked about and elevated loungewear, coordinated loungewear. This comes in a bunch of different colors, the joggers and the top. You really can get them to completely match. So for that reason, I'd even go as far to call it monochromatic. They both have like this taping here on the side. I am in a medium. I would say that that runs big. I feel like in champion tops, if I'm getting a medium, it's usually pretty fitted. This was not overly fitted at all. So I would say to go down one from your normal size. I would say that these also run a little bit big. So I am in a XL with these and they really honestly fit so great. I absolutely love the thick tie. There's just something so elevated about that. And the joggers are very nicely high-waisted. I feel like that also kind of elevates them. It brings them up just a little bit. This is a bag that I have featured in the past. Love the strap. I wanted to pair them with something a little bit more punchy. Like time and true star sneakers. You run a little bit small. I would order half a size down from your normal size. Great running errands look. All the rest of the looks that you see with tights are going to actually be these tights right here. No, they're just a little bit thinner. Cross between a nylon, I guess, and a tight. And just like the other ones, I would say go up one. And they have a pattern, so that is part of the trend. I mean, how adorable is this? So it has the two pockets there. This is nice and stretchy. I mean, there is a zipper here. I could just pull this up as is. I don't know if that means it's slightly too big for me. This is an extra large, which I feel like would be my true size. 
size. I feel like I could maybe get away with a large, but I, I don't know for sure. As you can see there, this is a corduroy. It does come in other colors as well. And even though it's a mini skirt, I mean, it's not like overly short. Paired it with the color that I'm coining wine, <laughs> the color of wine. This has become one of my absolute favorite shirts. They just came out with more colors. Of course, I bought more. I have this shirt already in a small and a medium. The small, I can wear untucked, and obviously the medium is a little bit of an oversize. This is an extra small, though, and I really liked this for tucking it in. Paired it a little bit maybe unexpectedly, I don't know, with these lug boots that are in the same type of color. It really pulled everything together. It gave the kind of preppy look of the mini skirt, but a little bit more of an edge. So again, this one hits on multiple, multiple trends. <laughs> This one, it was actually from the men's department. I got this in a medium. I would say that it fits true to size. These are no boundaries. And the challenge with these jeans are they're 100% cotton. Without that stretch in there, you usually have to go up a size. I am in a size 21. Absolutely love these jeans. The wash of them, width of them. I love how absolutely grungy they are. If this whole look isn't your vibe, totally get. If you don't wanna do the whole thing, you can pair this with just like a normal shirt that you'd normally wear. These would look so cute with like a bodysuit and heels. Just switch out the jeans for something a little more modern like these and you'll totally be doing the trend without having to do a full grunge look like I have here. If that's not something that you're into, you can take pieces of this, kind of put them all together. I paired it with this plaid no boundaries top here. This is in an XL. I thought it went kind of with the grunge look of the t-shirt, but it also, it's got the little bit of fur, the shirling, shearling. Is it shearling or shirling? I don't know. You you guys can let me know in the comments. That's also part of the trends. Trying to do like trends on trends on trends so that you can take what you want out of them. Absolutely love these lug boots. I feel like if you're nervous to try this trend, these are a really great way to do it. They're fairly minimalistic. They're not super chunky. I think that's like a pretty significant difference. These do come in a ton of colors. Order your normal size in these guys. <laughs> may remember earlier we saw these jeans and this is the color that I'm calling wine. Tell me if you guys think it looks like wine. It's not maroon, it's not burgundy, it's wine. There's just a little bit of distressing there, not too much. So I first got them in a 14, they were so tight. Got them in a 16, I honestly didn't notice that much of a difference. I definitely need to go back for an 18. Now the gray ones fit me great at a 16. Please note that size reference for the wine colored would go up two sizes and on the gray ones I would go up one size. Here look, we got another pair of sunglasses. Let's just, let's just put those on. Earlier I said that I love these shoes. I have these in every color. I've never seen a fur lined pair. This pink color is a trend. The fur is a trend. Trends on trends on trends. This one you saw earlier in black. I also have this in a medium. So I really do like how this one fits. If I'm going to wear it untucked, I think the medium works great for that. The black I had tucked into that leather skirt. I mean, if this is not celebrity status, I don't know what is. It does come in several colors. Obviously this plays into the fur trend as well. I don't know why I got this specifically. For my job, I wear a lot of gowns and things like that when, you know, the world is normal and I'm going to events. I never have a winter jacket that's not looking awkward with something like a floor length gown. And I thought this would be perfect for that. Knew that fur was going to be bulky on me. So I actually got this in a small knowing I wouldn't be able to button it. I certainly would need like at minimum a large to probably button this thing. Just note that size reference. <laughs> This mini skirt, I would be lying if I told you that it didn't scare me just a little bit. Ended up turning out really, really great. I paired it with my new favorite tights. Here, these are, again, the thinner ones. This mini skirt is no boundaries in a 17, and I'll be honest, I needed it a 19, which honestly I would say is my true size, so I don't know why I got a 17. I love this boyfriend tee from Time and True. It's got the little pocket there in a medium. I do also have this in a small. That one is certainly more fitted. This, I would say, is my true size. And then I really liked this. I'm gonna call it a corduroy jacket from Free Assembly in a medium, which I would call my true size. 
guys. I love the front pockets there. It's just a really, really pretty color. Even just this detailing here, the extra patch on the elbow. This kind of burnt orange color is trending. You know, this might be a slight variation of that color. I paired it with these scoop Western booties. So before we saw the true cowboy boot, I wouldn't call these a true cowboy boot. Okay. Got that little bit of like an almond toe. And I just thought that they went really perfect. And I think these would be great for the office too. I paired it with my camera crossbody bag that I have had. I've showed it in other videos. I will certainly link that below as well. <music> I feel like I literally just stepped out of the 1970s and it's so much fun. With this one, I kind of went all out. I would say if you just wanna take a piece of this, you could either do the top by itself or the bottom. This one definitely falls into the retro trend vibe. There's something about the print of this shirt. I love that it's like a V-neck Henley. Size extra large. It actually reminds me of the shirt. I don't think I talked about this one. It's also an XL. It's in no boundary. Like the retro vibe. And both of these come in different colors. I have not bought a pair of flare jeans yet and here here we go. Look at the bottom of these. I love that. Do keep in mind, these are definitely long. I'm five foot seven, size 14 here, which is my true size. A little bit high rise, 1% spandex. They feel nice and stretchy. Paired it with this little shoulder bag, very much on trend. This color is also on trend. They call it a burnt orange. It comes in a ton of colors. These were a really fun take on kind of a lug boot, but obviously they're more of a shoe. I really love the thick sole on these. They've got the stitching there. I did order a half size down from my normal size. I think that these flare jeans would also look so cool with heels. For this look though, I just wanted to be totally retro, like head to toe, and I feel like it really worked. Couple of bonus items here. So these are trending items that you're not necessarily finding in this video. I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna do it. I mean, maybe I'll eat my words in a year. Low rise jeans. You guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, no. I can't, I'm sorry, mm -mm. no more speak on that. Power suits, like skirt suits, pants suits, coordinated suits. <laughs> very much that preppy vibe. So we've got the mini skirt here. I got this in a 1X. It does fit. Honestly, I probably could wear a 2X, but I think the 1X worked. Paired really great with a no boundary shirt that I had in my closet from last season. I really liked the way that the two look together. I mean, this hits on, of course, the blue trend and there is a little bit of hot pink in there. I, of course, paired them with my favorite new pattern tights that we have here. The black lug boots that I've already featured and I thought it just really looked so cute together. It was one of those looks where I was like, okay, well, this is trendy, so like I'm gonna give it a try. But I think it works. I think it's really, really cute. So this bag does short like that, and then you can lengthen it to be crossbody, and you actually can have it like this, where it will do a backpack. It's kind of like a three in one, which is pretty cool. Love that. I thought it went really, really cute with kind of the schoolgirl vibe or whatever, so yeah. I like it. Definitely comment down below which of these trends you're really excited to try out. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave because when I tell you that I have more Walmart coming, I ain't lying. Thanks again to Walmart for sponsoring this video today. And again, thank you to you guys. You make my sponsorships possible. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.